Well, who doesn't need more space in a garage? Um, always, always we put stuff everywhere anyway. But um, especially when we have it, spaces that are wasted. In this case, this is under a, a um, stereo case. So we have a lot of space that we can convert into a closet and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by doing some measurements, some cuts and see how we can utilize that space more efficiently. So um, start by understanding that you have a lot of, sometimes a lot of wasted space under your stairs. You can use it for small pets especially, or bigger pets if you want to make it bigger. In this case, it's going to have a nice door so the pets can actually go in and enjoy the space and they're going to have their own light feature inside. So they can actually be in a, you know, in an area that is not a cage or something like that. So that can help a lot, especially if you were limited in space, like in this case. Um, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and do some, you know, start closing all the area and all the stuff and then we move from there. Um, well, you see that switch over there, you see that board that we put across. So, um, what we're doing right now is that we, we actually made the wall that is going to be there. And we're going to go ahead and put the shebra that goes in the inside from this side. So we don't need to, you know, work really hard from the other side of the wall, obviously. Um, that's where the door is going to be and the switch is going to be there. So go ahead and do all the, as much as possible, all the, the, the drywall that you need to install. If you want to you know install drywall and finish it and you know then later on you can go ahead and open that door and have the the, the rest of the drywall finish if you're not able to you know to finish it from from the outside anyway so um let's continue with that and i'll show you later how it looks like see now we have um a lot of the the uh shebrack installed and we have the other panel already made um i'm gonna let that the drywall compound to dry so we um, can actually go ahead and just do a little bit of light sanding and painting like what we did with our panel so let's continue well because our dog house is going to have uh, some vinyl plank flooring we want to make sure that that those planks are nice and adhered to the floor so uh, we are putting this all-purpose primer designed for that kind of floor application so we're going to let it dry a little bit and we're going to put the planks before we we actually close the house so it will be easier for us to install it obviously from here so let's continue hmm. now we have the uh, vinyl floor down on the area where the um you know the dogs are going to sleep so we can go ahead and close the the wall from this side well i'm going to put the light fixture here it's a simple light fixture uh, but we're going to go ahead and um close it you know after that uh, the wall is now closed um, it's nice and tight on the other side we went ahead and put the insulation because this is an external wall an exterior wall now because it's going to be part of a closet inside the, the garage so um, let's go ahead and you know kind of seal this correctly mm. now you can see from the inside of the house how the uh, dog house looks like um, now over here we're gonna have a frame so it'll be like a three section plus the molding to match the molding of the house and obviously we need to cut that and kind of make the amendment with the with the um, you know the vinyl planks that we have on the floor so besides that I'm gonna connect the, the power so we can have that operating as well so let's continue um, once you have the opening made, go ahead and put your frame around. Obviously, this is a wooden frame. The three sides of the wood panel, we're going to go ahead and prime and paint. Something over here that we made a patch because we modified the wall a little bit to fit the new house for the dogs. I'm going to put a little base mold into inside. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so this is the final part of the project. Um, you can see that now we trace um, a house-like uh, roof and the size of the roof. Um, just to recap, the um, section under the stair that was uh, not utilized before I was approached by you know using the vinyl planks, putting some drywall insulation on the walls, and putting some, a, a light fixture for it too. Um, what else can I say? You can actually um, put a door if you want to put a door, and you can have a cushion through the entire thing, so you can have your dogs living there on um, the mat is a part of the decoration but anyway i hope this video will help you to understand how to make your own projects if you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you are thank you as always i'll see you in the next one bye bye